Cool, now having your password in all your browsers is a pretty cool thing. Wouldn't it be nice to actually have your bookmarks shared across your browsers as well? Well, there just so happens to be a brilliant app that I use all the time that will actually enable that ability. That is the ability to share your bookmarks across different browsers. So let's jump back into the Chrome Web Store and I'll just click on extensions and then do a search for X Browser Sync. There it is there. And so X Browser Sync is the website. So I'll actually open that website as well and then go to the extension page and click add to Chrome, add extension. And that has been installed. So I'll close out of there and then jump into the extensions. And I'll also pin this to the panel. Now, as you can see, there is a red cross here, which basically indicates that X Browser Sync is not currently synchronized. So what I'm gonna do is I'll actually minimize Chrome and I'll open up Firefox. So this is the 100th release of Firefox. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So I'm just gonna start browsing. And so what I'll do is firstly, open up the extensions page for Firefox. So that of course is called addons.mozilla. And there we actually have a few previously open pages. So I'll actually use that to get to the website. And then in this search bar, I'll have a search for X Browser Sync. There it is there. And I'll add this to Firefox. And click add and okay. Cool, so that's now added. Now what I'll do is I'll also go to the website. Where is it? Here it is. I'll close the other tab and so let's start using X Browser Sync so I'll just click on this and there are 13 pages of an introduction if you'd like to read through them all and as you can see you can actually install it on an Android device using FDroid which is very very cool and got it Cool, and then press continue. And so what I'm gonna do first before I even use it is go back into the Firefox settings and I'm gonna to go to the bookmarks section. And as you can see, there are no recent bookmarks, but I'll actually click on manage bookmarks and just make sure there are no bookmarks at all here. Cool, so what I'll do is I'll actually make a bookmark for Gmail and I'll have a bookmark for the Bitwarden Vault. And let's see, my Proton Mail account, I'd like a login bookmark. So what I'll do is I'll add these all by clicking Control D to create a bookmark. And I'll put this in my other bookmarks and then save. And so I'm doing all this before I even use X Browser Sync, just to demonstrate how this all works, save and save, cool. And so now I actually have a few bookmarks saved in my browser. And now what I'll do is I'll actually create an X Browser Sync account. And what I'll do first actually is log into my Bitwarden account. Cool. And so it's gonna ask me for an encryption password. So what I'll do is I'll actually jump into Bitwarden and I'll add a login. And this is for X Browser Sync and it's actually picked up the website, which is why I had it open in the first place. And so what I'll do is I'll give it a username. 
and then create a password. So I'll actually create a complicated password by using the generate password function. And let's see, I'll also include symbols and I'll just add a few here and then let's just create one here. There we go. So I'll copy that and then I'll also click select. That's now been placed into my password section. So what I'll do now is click save and because I've saved that password, I'll be able to now use it in X Browser Sync. So I did it that way around. I created a password first so that when I paste it into X Browser Sync, then I can't actually make any mistakes. So I'll paste that in here and then click next and then paste it again. Oh. And then click sync. And there we go. So now if I click on this view bookmarks folders, you'll see other bookmarks. And if I open that, here are the bookmarks that I created in Firefox. So they've automatically been transferred into X Browser Sync, which is really, really handy. Now, to be able to use X Browser Sync in a different browser, all you have to do is go back to your X Browser Sync application and then click on the settings cog and you want to copy the sync id so if i click on that and then copy sync id to clipboard now i can close out of there and if i just scroll down here i'm also going to turn off the sync bookmarks toolbar because i never actually use a toolbar and then close out of there jump back into bitwarden and then I'll view my X Browser Sync, and that's this icon here, my X Browser Sync login details, and then I'll click Edit, and I'll actually change the Stempunk as the username, and I'll paste in the ID number right there. So now I'll click Save, and that is done. So I'll minimize Firefox, and then jump back into Google Chrome, and so what I'll do is I'll now do a search in Bitwarden in Google Chrome for X Browser Sync. There it is there, so I'll click that and then copy the username. Go to X Browser Sync itself and then I'll just click continue. And it's actually requesting additional permissions and this is the permission to read and change all your data on all websites and you can allow that but if you click deny then you can still actually use x browser sync and i generally just click deny and rather than reading through all 13 pages if you just click this got it that'll take you straight to the login so now i'll click continue and because I already have a sync ID, I'll click this link here. Actually, before I do that, I'll go to the settings cog and I'll scroll down here and turn off the sync bookmarks toolbar. And if you wanted to actually give X Browser Sync permission to read all your website data and change data using your browser. And basically what this means is that if you already have lots of bookmarks that have tags and all that kind of thing by granting permission to X Browser Sync you can actually transfer all of those tags across to X Browser Sync as well which you could do when you first use X Browser Sync because the thing is when you first use X Browser Sync it's probably best to use it in the browser that you have all the bookmarks that you want to keep because as soon as you install it onto a secondary browser it'll actually wipe those bookmarks and replace them with the bookmarks from the first browser so you could turn on your permissions when you first use X Browser Sync and then turn it off after that. But because I've just started using this on these browsers, then I'm going to leave that turned off. So I'll X out of there and then click already got a sync ID. And because I copied it into my clipboard, I can just paste it into there. Actually, I'll have to do it again. So I'll open up Bitwarden and then do a search for X Browser Sync. And then I'll copy the username and then go to X Browser Sync, already got a sync ID and then paste it into there. And then my encryption password, I'll jump back into Bitwarden and go and get my 
password. There it is there. And back in X Browser Sync, I can paste it into the password field and then click Sync. Then yes. And there we go. So now if I check out my bookmarks, I have the bookmarks that I saved in my other browser. Now to bookmark a page using X Browser Sync is really, really simple. All you have to do is, for example, I'll bookmark the home page for the Chrome Web Store, and then I'll just click on the X Browser Sync extension. And then this middle icon here, add a bookmark, I'll click that. And then I could just click add bookmark, or if I wanted to tag it, so I could tag it extensions. And then click add bookmark that has now created a bookmark in X Browser Sync. So now if I minimize Chrome and then go to Firefox, this should actually update pretty quickly, but if it hasn't been synced, then you just click on the X Browser Sync extension and then click on the settings cog. And here you have a button to update the sync. So I'll update the sync and that has been completed. So now if I do the same in Firefox. I'll go to the add-ons page and then I'll click on X Browser Sync and then add a bookmark and I'll tag this extensions. Press enter to add the tag and then add bookmark. So that is how easy it is to create bookmarks and then if I jump back into Chrome and then I'll make sure that the X Browser Sync extension has been updated. So I'll click on Settings, Update Sync, and that has completed. And if I jump into X Browser Sync and do a search for extensions, as you can see, both the Chrome Web Store and the Firefox add-ons page show up in X Browser Sync. So with the X Browser Sync, I can now share my bookmarks across different browsers.